Rebecca Dixon appeared in Milford Probate Court facing a charge in the death of her 11-month-old son. Connecticut State Police arrested her Tuesday for the tragic death that occurred back in July. Acute intoxication due to fentanyl and morphine with recent exposure to cocaine. The report coming from the chief medical examiner's office back in August concluding the 11-month-old baby boy's death was a homicide. Connecticut State Police arrested the child's mother, Rebecca Dixon, for his death. Based on the fact that the mother had uh, narcotics within the area that the victim was, um, prior to the victim's death, the mother had been using as well. On July 6th, state police were called to Dixon's home after her child was found unresponsive. The 35-year-old had been napping with her son when she awoke to find him limp. Dixon's arrest warrant details evidence of heroin and crack cocaine use in the bedroom, possibly in reach of a child. She also had traces of the same drugs that killed her son and her system. Uh, Rebecca had six different substances, which included fentanyl, morphine, cocaine, and others. State police charged Dixon with conspiracy to commit manslaughter in the second degree. The baby boy was just a few weeks away from his first birthday. This is a tragedy beyond any, any imaginable proportion. Since 2018, the state of Connecticut has reported at least five accidental overdoses in teens or children. The McCall Center for Behavioral Health believes children and teens' exposure to prescription and lethal drugs can be mitigated with proper safety measures. Simple, straightforward, and inexpensive things that people can do is to have a, just a simple lockbox like this, um, where their medications um, can always be put, um, and that they should be, you know, out of sight and out of reach from any child. Uh Maria Skinner says a simple measure isn't only good for young children, but also teens. She says substance abuse often begins with diversion of drugs. When you're done with your prescription, that you dispose of it. You can bring it to a drop box in a police department, um, or you can put it into a, um, a deterra bag or another bag that um, safely disposes. Dixon's arrest warrant also states that her son was exposed to drugs in the wound. Her bond was set at $100,000. To learn more about the McCall Center and their services, head to fox61.com. In Milford, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News. Just an awful story, Dave. Thank you. Uh, new at 10 tonight.